Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to the Brilliant Business Show. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Conversations with leading experts in business. And today I have the most incredible guest, Sarah Griffiths. Sarah is a highly successful businesswoman and a rapid transformation therapist. Our topic today is change yourself, change your beliefs, change your life. Sarah, welcome to the Brilliance Business Show. Oh, thanks for having me. You are so welcome, Sarah. Before I get started, I just want to make a legal disclaimer that we're not offering legal advice or legal assistance. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yep, I'm definitely not um, offering legal advice or assistance. I'm just here to talk about my business and what I do. We're super looking forward to a conversation about your business and getting to know what you do, Sarah. Can you share with our listeners a little about yourself and your business and change yourself, change your beliefs and change your life? Yeah, okay. So about myself, well, I'm currently 53 years old. Um, and I have set up and currently run three successful businesses. The latest one is um, a rapid transformation therapy business, which uses a particular um, a method of hypnosis combined with traditional therapies of NLP and CBT to get really, really fast results for people where um, other therapies and medicine and things are failing. My other two businesses are not so exciting. They are restaurants. I've moved from restaurants to therapy. Well, I'm more interested to learn lots about your therapy today because we all need quick results and with hypnotherapy it can go straight into the subconscious mind allowing us to get quicker results and i know that's what you are the queen of sarah who are your typical clients who do you serve that's a very very broad question um, because there's almost no one that can't benefit in some way from the RTT therapy that I practice. But what I found is that most of my clients, I, for some reason, I've ended up um, working with addiction. You know how they say your your passion finds you? Well, I knew that this therapy was my, my passion, but I wasn't expecting to go down the addiction route. Um, but that has definitely happened. And I found myself loving that because people with addiction are in so much pain for such a long time. And when they come to me, I help them and I help them really fast um, in as little as one 90 minute session. And that has been amazing to do that work. Um, And that obviously includes food addiction. So I'm currently doing a whole program um, around weight control self-belief and self-confidence because all of those things go together and aside from that because of my business experience um, I also get entrepreneurs come to me trying to uncover the blocks why are they stuck in their business why do they know what they're supposed to do but they just can't put themselves out there and it's very very easy for me to uncover and change the block or story or belief from their past that they are still carrying that they don't even realize is there. So we uncover it fast, we disrupt it, we change it, and they can go on to do whatever it is they want to do. Pretty amazing. And that's, I can work with almost anyone, but that's really where I found myself working most. That's amazing, Sarah. And I myself am very, very passionate 
passionate about addiction and it's great to hear that you're helping people with addiction because it's such a big problem like you say drug addiction food addiction addiction to social media there are so many addictions that people are struggling with and the fact that there is someone like you out there that can help and help so quickly for them to start moving forwards is absolutely amazing also self-belief and belief systems when you're an entrepreneur these kind of belief systems when they're negative and sabotaging really can hold people back from moving forwards and getting results so it's great great work what you are doing do you recall a specific ha ha moment that led to the launch of your business oh definitely um definitely with my with my restaurant and then there was another one that took me into the therapy as well so with my restaurants I started my first restaurant eight years ago and it all is there's a link here you'll see why I've ended up working with the therapy that I have because I was actually bullied at school I was bullied just for being poor but it was horrific I mean, for me, it was horrendous and it just completely eroded all of my self-confidence, my self-esteem. And it, it just, it, it crippled me. It, it really crippled me until the age of 45. Um, and what happened was I nearly killed myself. So I've actually written about this um, in my book and various articles and things. I'm very open and honest about it. I speak about it too because I wanted to help other people. So when I was 45, I nearly killed myself because I just could not, I just couldn't live with who I thought I was anymore. And it all came from this bullying. So that was, there was a massive aha moment when I nearly committed suicide and I avoided it literally at the last second. And it, it made me absolutely tell myself that I had to get a grip and just I, w I wasn't that person I never was that person and I had to get over this and find a way to get past it and that was when I started my first business and that was a very very hard journey for me because don't think that I just went oh I know what I'm going to get over this I'm going to start my own business and everything will be fine I was still the same person I was still absolutely crippled by who I thought I was. I just gave myself something to focus on. So it was very difficult. I had a lot to learn, but but I, it did it did help me enormously because I started to study business and leadership and things like that. And of course it led me then after a few years it led me to start my second business. But the whole thing had led me on this incredible journey of self-discovery and learning and just learning about the, the mind and core beliefs and past experiences, all these things that I had no idea about. And of course, the Internet helped because everything was there for me to learn from. Plus, I, I spent a lot of money on some great mentors and coaches and I just wanted to heal myself. And what happened was about three years ago now, I got to the point where because of what I was doing in my life, people started to come to me for coaching, asking, well, how can I do this? You know, what would I have to do? So I started coaching people and through my own journey and experiences, I had incredible empathy, really, and understanding of where they were stuck and why. Um, and I started to think, well, I just need, I need a faster route for these people. My own journey was so long and so painful. What can I do? Yes, I can use NLP and CBT and traditional therapies, but these people are in so much pain. They, they just want to get over this now. And it led me to look for something faster. And that's really when I found RTT. And as soon as I found it, um, I followed Marissa Peer, who teaches it for a few months, and I just thought, 
yeah, she's the real deal. This is real results they're getting here. And I need to do whatever I can to qualify in this. And that's really how, how that came about. And that's, that's how I've ended up leaving my husband to run the two restaurants while I concentrate on growing this RTT therapy business and just getting out there and helping people and helping them fast. And that's where the real joy is for me, knowing that when people come for me, come to me, I can just help them really fast. I am very, very passionate about bullying, Sarah. I was bullied too. And hearing your story, all that I can think is how inspiring that you have turned your life around from the age of 45 to have that low point of commit, trying to commit suicide, how you can inspire so, so many people that it's never too late to transform your life using your self-belief. And I'm so passionate about bullying. We are very, very alike. And what I do like, Sarah, which is very similar to me, all those adversities of our past how they really push us later in life to transform ourselves but then to go on to help others I'm very empathetic too and it's always about helping others and it's just great hearing the past of what you've been through the bullying trying to commit suicide at 45 and how you've transformed your life and how that's how that's really motivating you to then go and help go out and help so many people to then turn their lives around that's very very inspiring oh thank you i mean obviously that's what that's what it became for me it's not how it started out it started out i didn't have any thoughts of you know, being selfish, I didn't have any thoughts of anyone else when I started out. I was doing this for me. I knew I had to get my own life back on track for my own sake and for the sake of my children and everything else. But yes, then when I started to get results and when I when I look back now at what I've done and who I am, I'm, I'm like, I might as well be a completely different person to the person I was eight years ago. And do you know, it's interesting because so much of that growth has come in the last, let's say mainly in the last 18 months when I got a real passion for helping other people. That is where I got my real fire and passion and where I'm just constantly pouring into myself in terms of learning and you know, having my own coaches and mentors and just growing myself all the time so that I have got more to then feed into other people. And that has really, that really fuels me like you. And it's amazing where that comes from because it didn't start out like that. Had no thoughts of doing that at all. But it just, it just grips you when you realize when, when you get free from that pain and you just think, I can help other people do this. The other people need to know how to do this. Other people need to know they don't have to be stuck. You know, and, and it does. It just really, it, it fuels everything I am, really. And what I like about that, it's a very important point what you've made. Don't do it for anybody else. Focus inwards on your own goals, your own aims don't look at your outside circumstances and really focus on yourself what really motivates you to jump out of bed every morning yeah that that has to be to be honest now that you've said it i, I probably didn't think of it in this way before but it's about other people it's about knowing when i open my inbox or messenger or whatever whatever i'm doing there are people out there who are going to benefit so it's it's just knowing that whoever i come in 
contact with through the day, whether I do an RTT session with them or not. If I do an RTT session, it's transformational. That's, that's a given. But I try to focus and live in a way and give from myself so that everyone I have contact with is better off for the experience. So my whole day, every day starts with who, who, who can I impact today? Who can I give to today? What can I give what, from who I am and what I know and where I'm at now? What am I going to give to someone today? And the amazing thing is, I, that, even if I don't think of it in that way, because you're constantly giving, you're constantly receiving. It just works like that. And that's beautiful. That really is a beautiful way to wake up and make it about other people and helping others. That really is nice, Sarah. What sets your business apart and what unique need are you filling for your clients? Look, I, obviously what sets it apart, I mean, aside from the fact that it has to be unique because obviously I'm unique, so everything <laughs> I take into my business is different from what someone else would. I'm um, a different focus, a different perspective, different experiences. But from a, from a point of view of helping my clients, no matter who they are and no matter what they're struggling with, what sets me about, apart has to be the method that I use, the RTT method that I use. There, I, there are only about a thousand therapists worldwide trained in this method so far, you know, and not everyone is using it as extensively as I do. Um, so that in itself is unique. So it's a unique approach. And the fact that we can get these really fast results that are very effective um, and just help people so fast, that, that has to be completely unique. And I mean, I'm expanding on that because one of the things I'm doing at the moment is I'm developing a whole program around weight control, but it's linked with self-belief and self-confidence and abundant mindset. Um, because the thing is, the, the reason most people fail with weight loss is because people try to deal with weight loss on its own. And weight loss doesn't sit on its own. No, no one just wakes up one morning and discovers they've suddenly put on weight. It comes over a period of time and it has a root cause. It, it's a food addiction. And it's all related to how you feel about yourself, what you're told about yourself. And for weight control to be effective, we have to deal with it as part of, as part of a package rather than try to deal with it on its own. Because someone who doesn't love themselves is not going to put in the time and effort to concentrate on their weight. Um, it, it just doesn't work like that. So we I have to support them in all of those areas and I think that's going to be amazing and I'm doing the same for addiction as well I find that when people come to me and if, if someone has been labeled as an alcoholic for 20 years and suddenly they're not that's a huge thing it, it's like who am I now how do I relate to people? How do I relate to my life? What can I do? And, and it's also, it's really helping them to relate to the people around them and also giving them tools that they can then feed to the people around them to help them all relate better. Uh, because our alcoholism, like every addiction, is rooted. It is absolutely caused by what someone thinks about themselves. Addicts don't love themselves. They they don't think that they're good enough, so they seek something outside of themselves to make them whole. And when it doesn't, they just need more and more and more. And it doesn't work. And by then, they're addicted. And they, they're still left with the feeling of not being enough. And the people around them don't understand that. And if we, if we can just work from that understanding, it makes a huge difference in itself. So there you are. That's quite a long answer but that's where I, I work in a unique way I think.
Yes. Very important, a, significant, unique ways. It's a beautiful answer, Sarah. And I know from first and from being a drug addict that your self-esteem, your self-confidence is down to the floor. And I myself have had to work deeply on my belief systems. And I feel with uh, positive, empowering belief systems and changing all that programming, and switching to an abundance mindset you can shift into a whole new reality and you can become a different person so that was a really beautiful answer Aww. why is your service especially important in today's modern world i think it's really important because the things that i particularly focus on you know mental health weight control, addiction, those things are, they are, they're really, they're epidemic in our society. There are so many more people that need help that don't understand why they have the issue they have and they can't get the help they need either because it isn't available or because traditional medicine just does not understand doctors don't have the time to, to really work with these people and to uncover the roots and, and, and to just spend time working out what the root cause is and then just, as you say, working to elevate what these people feel about themselves. And the thing is, all of this, the, the reason I can, some, some of the reason I can do this so fast is because yes we use hypnotherapy so we're dealing with the subconscious and we can literally we can bulldoze um an old belief system out of the way and and lay new beliefs over the top of it we can do that immediately that's great but the other thing is with the hypnotherapy that i do i work on the basis and this is always always without exception this is true that whatever someone's mental health issue or addiction, whether it's weight, drugs, smoking, whether it's depression, anxiety, there are various factors, I'm not denying that, but the key factor is always that someone doesn't think they're good enough, they don't feel worthy, and they feel as if they can't connect and they've been rejected. So when I work on that basis, Whilst the details, the specific details and circumstances are different, I am always looking for and always get very quickly presented with that root cause. So we're not spending weeks talking about what might it be, where might it be. It's very focused and we get there very fast. Yeah. Can you share more details on the kind of services and products you offer, Sarah? Okay, so mostly what I do is um, a single RTT session. So that's a rapid transformation therapy session. Um, and that can be done. I work all over the world, so I don't have to do them in person. I, I mostly do them over Zoom, actually where people can just book one session for something. Um, and I also sell them in a, a set of three because so often people, they don't just have one issue and we don't want to be dealing with three major issues at once. Um, so people will book a set of three, plus I offer um, support coaching and things around that as well. So I kind of tailor the package to what people need, but one or three RTT sessions is mostly what it is um, and then the other thing as I said what I'm working on um, I'm actually just about to launch I'm launching it at the beginning of April is my whole um, weight loss wellness and self-confidence program and that includes RTT and coaching and that overall approach to self and weight control that I was talking to you about um, and I'm working on one of those for addiction as well because when I, if I deal with someone who's been a long-term addict, I don't just want to, after the first or the second session, just kind of assume, oh, you've stopped drinking, you're okay now. Because there's, 
as I said before, there's so much more to that. You know, they've then got to adjust in their life and they've got to adjust in their relationships. And there comes about, this is interesting as well, because people have lived with things like this for so long, when they start to get better, it's almost they can't believe it. They can't believe it can be this good. So then they might self-sabotage. And then I find they come back to me and say, I can't believe it. This was going amazing. But I just couldn't accept it. So I self-sabotaged. So then we do a session specifically about that and we deal with that. So I, I really like people who've been in the grips of something for a long time to kind of have an overall service from me. They can just have one session. But I think people who who are overcoming something like that appreciate having more support anyway. So, yeah, so that's how that tends to work. And you also do lots of speaking, don't you, Sarah? Oh, that is something that I would love to do more of. Um, I have done some speaking, yes, and I really, I, I love speaking about this. And I really do recognize it as a way to reach more and more people. But because people don't know about this, not enough people do. Um, and yeah, if I can get out there and speak and just let people know what this is, what it can do for them, then yeah, love, love, love to do to do more of that. Yeah, definitely. I would imagine you have all sorts of client success stories. What is one that really stands out in your mind? Oh, I think my favourite have to be so this wouldn't be one but my favorites have to be the addiction stories there probably are a couple that really stand out where people come to me and they'll say i i'm sure you can't help me because i've tried everything and then they'll detail where they've literally and they'll all the money they've spent you know thousands and thousands in one case, $100,000 on rehabs and, you know, on everything. And then we do RTT. And you can tell in the session, they get that RT, they, they get that aha moment where it just makes sense to them, you know, and, and they change. And they stop their addiction. And that is well, just amazing. That is totally amazing, Sarah, because addiction really is such a big problem and it seems to be growing with all different types of addictions and the like you've mentioned with weight gain and things like that. It's such a big problem for people and I can only imagine how satisfying it is when you do help people through that process. How do clients typically hear about you and are there certain life moments that usually lead to them seeking you out? I think people get desperate. You know, um, people with mental health issues, people with weight issues, people who are addicts, because what we have to understand is they don't want this. They don't want to be as they are. No one wants to wake up knowing that today they're going to drink two bottles of wine just to get through the day because they are so full of self-loathing or because they can't bear to be by themselves. You know, and, and these are the root causes that we're dealing with. And, I, and people get desperate. People are looking for answers. People who are overweight, most of them don't enjoy it. Most of them don't want to be as they are. They just can't stop doing what they're doing. People who are overweight, unless there's some real underlying medical cause, are addicted to food. And there is a reason they are addicted to food. You no, know? and, and when they go on diets, diets don't work for the reasons I've just discussed. And also, we don't want people on diets. We want people loving themselves so that they look after themselves and loving their lives. 
And this is how we deal with addiction too. We get people to love themselves. So I, I think the answer is people get desperate. People are looking for an answer. Obviously, I get quite a lot of referrals now. People refer me, which is good. Um, so pe- And people find me on Facebook as well through things that I post. Um, yeah. But I think, I think people get desperate. That's what it is. And they just, it's, it's just a cry for help. You know, they'll, they'll do anything and go anywhere to just, to just be normal as they see it, but just to not feel like they do. Yeah. I love the work you're doing, Sarah. Is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share? Um, no, other than maybe just telling people how they can get hold of me. We're going to do you that. are welcome to. That was my next question. I just wanted okay, to see if so. you wanted to touch on any points, but people connect with you. How can people find you? How can people reach out to you, Sarah? Yeah, well, if there's my website. So my company is sallyg.com. So that's the name Sally and then the um, initial G on the end, sallyg.com. Sally is my nickname in my family, so I'm sallyg.com. They can go there. Um, they can um, email me too. I'm sarah at sallyg.com. So that's a nice, easy one. Um, and then if they're on my website, there are various ways they can actually contact me through that. And one of the best things I think people can do is just book in for a free consult. Just book in to talk to me about their problems and how I can help them. And then it's up to them what they do from there. So, yeah. And one of the really great things people will be able to do um, is sign up for my six-week course, which starts on the 1st of April for weight weight control, general wellness, self-belief, self-confidence. That is going to be a totally transformational program I I don't think there are other weight loss programs like that out there or not many that are dealing with weight loss as a whole package of self-belief and self-confidence and loving yourself and looking after yourself. So I'm very, very excited about that program and what it's going to be. Be Be sure to check out Sarah's website And can you say your website address again, just so that our listeners that may need your help or they want to find out more can go to your website, Sarah? Yeah, it's Sally G. So that's the name Sally with the initial G dot com. Sally G dot com. Sarah, I've really enjoyed a conversation with you today. We have so many things in common. Uh, Topics are so similar with bullying and addiction and helping others. I've really enjoyed a conversation with you. Thank you for being on the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you so much. And yeah, I just hope this gets out to the right people and that if they don't need the help themselves, then and um, they can refer people who, who do, yeah, because I can definitely help them. That's our show for today, a conversation with Sarah Griffiths, highly successful businesswoman and rapid transformation therapist. Our topic has been change yourself, change your beliefs, change your life. Check out Sarah at sallyg.com. You have been listening to the Brilliance Business Show, conversations with leading experts in business. I'm your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Until next time, goodbye. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.